And um, in today's tutorial, it's going to be a continuation of course CIT 104. And um, just before we go into the main topic for today, we're going to be talking very quickly about the um, output. There's um, the output device. You know, in our last class, we talked about the input devices. So today we're going to be talking about, just before we go into computer software, we're going to be talking about the output devices and um, then we'll go straight into it. So with this being said, let's go straight into it. So we have K So it's 104 Just a moment and we are good to go all right now we have output devices output devices output devices what are output devices output devices okay <clears throat> now basically just like we have input devices that helps us communicate with the computer and the output devices as well helps in the communication but it is more of the, the giving than the receiving you know the input helps to receive from the computer's end while you know we give the instructions now when the computer gives back response to the instruction given to it then the output devices help us to comprehend what the computer has given so now the very first one we are going to be looking at is called the printer <coughs> printer now printer is um you know a printer is a computer component that lets that lets the computer user create copies of the information stored in the computer on paper okay it helps users to create just a moment so that we don't get distracted All right okay now <clears throat> it says here now it says here that it's um a computer component a computer component it's a computer component yes and what does it do it helps us create copies copies it helps us create copies of info copies of information stored in the computer on paper of info or copies of information stored in the computer on paper basically it makes your soft copy an hard copy to me i would say it is the transformation of soft copy into hard copy because this is what enables it, that device device that enables it says device i will refer to this as a device that enables the transformation of soft copy into hard copy you know but this is not 300 level or 400 level but this is 200 100 level you know your exams are computer based and are not permitted to use to give your own definitions according to the material strictly according to your material so you have it as that now there are three basic types of printers three basic types now we have one we have two we have three one two and we have three three basic types now we have the laser printers the laser we have the ink jets and we have the dot matrix 
the laser, we have the ink, jet, and we have the dots matrix. Dots matrix. We have the laser, we have the inject, and we have the dots matrix. Now, speaking of which, the laser printer is a combination of magnetic roller with powder ink called toner and it, it is used to transfer high quality characters of image on and this is the general the general one and i want that um you know basically that you know more of like um more of like a photocopy machine you know the regular one that most cyber cafes uses is this laser printer you know magnetic roller uh, with um, powder in called the toner to transfer high quality characters so let's just take down magnetic roller with powder in magnetic magnetic roller with powder ink so that's the keyword anytime you see dash printer uses magnetic ruler with powder in to give eye to transform high quality images on paper you know you are talking about laser um printer now we have the inkjet now the inject printer okay miss rena is going to have you join us now we have the inkjet now this printer have small nozzles that actually spray fast drying ink on the page or on the page to form characters or images now the key word here is that this particular printer uses small nozzles to spray drying inks small nozzles spray drying inks all right so we have um that as that for inkjet according to its name inkjet drying inks now we have the dot matrix printer now this dot matrix printer use a print head to strike an ink ribbon against paper like the typewriter creating characters now creating characters out of this series of dots now the keyword here is that print head to strike an inked ribbon against the paper Print head to strike an ink to strike an ink ribbon an ink ribbon an ink ribbon against paper against paper yes so those are the three types of printers and those are their keywords. The laser uses magnetic roller, the ink jet uses small nozzles, and dot matrix uses head, print head, you know, ink ribbon. So we have that as that. Now let's move on to what we call the monitor. The monitor. Now the monitor does not only process itself. Now, the monitor does not do any processing itself. What it does is that it displays the that the video card tells it to display. Information, what it does is it only displays information on screen. Displays info on according to your material now it says it only displays information that the video card 
the video card is where the information to be displayed on the monitor is sent forth. So we have displays info on the video card. Now we have these types of monitors. We have the VGA and we have the SVGA. Now we have VGA and we have the SVGA. Okay, now <clears throat> now um, both of these terms are generally referred to how many dots or pixels in each direction the monitor can display. Now the VGA does 640 times 480 by width and height and the VFGA does okay just a moment I think something needs to be adjusted okay now the VGA and the SVGA. Now we have I'm using my marker. I think I need to get a bit better marker. Let me change this marker. Video graphic array and the super video graphic array. So we have for the two, just a moment. All right. Um, for, you know, they do their stuff now. In terms now, these dots, you know, we talked about the videos. What they do here is the display on the screen. And we have something called resolution, the quality of the the quality of the of what is displayed on the screen. That's resolution. Now for VGA, we have VGA doors by pixel by pixel. By pixel, it does 640. by 480 why the super video graphic doors 800 by 600 800 by 600 for the pixel okay <clears throat> and both are referred to as resolution that's measurements for monitor. They are called monitor resolution. That's measurements for how how sharp. You know, sometimes when people complain that their screen and that the screen is blurry, maybe you might have heard me say, go to your settings and change your resolution. Make it 640 or make it 680 or bring it low. Make it. I think the default is 114, and with that, the board definitely will not be clear. I think the least you can use before you can see the board and the writings on the board clearly starts from 350 and above you know <clears throat> so we have that as that now let's proceed so we have scanners we have scanners scanners 
Okay, now scanners are also referred to as peripherals. Computer peripherals used to convert electronic formats. Now, convert. Just a moment. Convert electronic formats, convert elect electronic formats, convert electronic. Okay, now it is a peripheral, it is a device. What does it do it's a computer peripheral device and what it does is that it scans whether an artwork it scans it whether a photograph or a text it scans it and converts it into an electronic format which is soft copy now let's put it this way it's Convert, add copies of text, photos, text, photographs, artwork, artwork into an electronic format which is referred to as soft copy so if you now want to print it out and have the hard copy then use a printer but basically scanner helps you to scan them and convert it into a hard, into a soft copy where you can save or store on your computer or on your yeah on yeah you can save as soft copy okay so we have um that as that and we have the types of scanners now we have the flat bed just like the name says flat bed it's flat and looks like a bird a bed flat bed you know it says it looks like a photocopier you may lay the item to be scanned on a glass plate and scanning it passes below the glass so we have the flat bed just like a photocopier we have the sheet fed the sheet fed more, looks more like the fax so it looks like copier like the fax okay mr mohammed it's great to have you join the stream i think i'm seeing you for the first time you are welcome we have the hand scanner and Scanner. According to the way it's, the name sounds, it's um, hand held, just like a joystick, something. It's hand held. You know, as the name implies, hand scanner, a manual device used move over a flat surface just as you do PC mouse. It's compared to a mouse compared to a mouse so these are the keywords you know what this fax says you know it's fast all this holding this telephone line fax you know the flat bed looks like a photocopier the sheet fed sheet s-h-e-e-t sheet fed looks like the fax and the hand scanner it's a like manual it's a manual scanner that you use like uh move around like a mouse 
Okay, so um, let's erase the board and let's proceed. Okay, now let's proceed and we're talking about auxiliary equipment now. Auxiliary equipment. Auxiliary equipment. Okay, now. When we talk about auxiliary equipment, what are we talking about? As the name suggests, auxiliary equipment is not a computer, but it is necessary in a computing environment. In order to ensure proper functioning and smooth running. So peradventure you come across a question like, Dash is not a computer, but necessary in the computing environment. It is referred to as auxiliary equipment. Now, what are the auxiliary equipment it requires in the computing environment? First, we have the air conditioner. I think I need to switch my marker. We have the air conditioner. We have the line voltage transformer. Line voltage transformer. line voltage transformer now ac we all know what air condition air conditioner what uh the air conditioner is now line voltage transformer is said to be a device that either steps down or step up electric uh, um, electricity current it's either steps up are we together it's either steps up or steps down electrical voltage or electric electricity current so that is for line voltage transformer it helps to regulate it it helps to regulate voltage and we have the ups is anybody helping us the full meaning of ups i think miss uh miss um rena should be able to help us with that a quick one what is the meaning of ups a quick one Okay, uh, I have Mr. Mohammed, um, Miss Regina, and Miss Simisola. What is the meaning of UPS? We hear the word a lot. So, and I, I, in first semester, I remember we did this thing in just 103. So, Miss Regina, I remember, uh, Miss um, Rena, and you, are, you are with us. So, please, what is the full meaning of UPS? Okay waiting so we can proceed okay yes thank you very much miss rena always responsive as usual also miss regina on interrupted power supply system wonderful yes yes very very nice thank you very much sir you were good to go on interrupted power supply system yes thank you very much so that is all for that under auxiliary equipment now we are moving into the main thing okay now we are going into computer software now computer software 
See, when we're talking about computer software, what are we talking about? Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Mohammed. Okay, uh, Miss Charity Daniel. I think I'm also seeing that name for the first time. It's great to have you. Mr. Mohammed and Miss Charity, you guys are new, I presume. Do well to smash the like button. And also, if you have subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel as well. Thank you very much. So now, computer hardware is driven from the software. Now, the different types of hardware, now different forms, the operating now, the computer software makes hardware works functionally. It makes it possible for hardware to be functional. Now, computer software are said to be, are we together? Computer software are said to be set of programs. Set of programs. First, that is the first keyword. Set of what? Programs. Now, what is the essence of having these programs? Why do we have set of programs? For what now? Now, we'll find out. This set of programs are made available in order that the computer system will function actively this set of programs is said to be made or put in place that the computer system may function now in essence Software is the set of programs that run the computer. The set of programs that runs the computer. It sets, so when you come across questions like dash is the set of programs that runs the computer so i believe you know what the answer is and if you are if you come across a question like dash now computer hardware no if you come across questions like computer hardware is different from dash computer hardware is driven from computer software so we have that as that and we have the different forms just a moment right now we have we have different forms of operating systems forms forms different forms now we have utility software utility software we have language translator and application software language translators and application software about three of them, we have utility, software, language translators, and application softwares. All right, now let's proceed. Now, we have just a moment. Okay. Um, 
trying to fix my material. Awesome. Now, so if we say system software is a set of a program, I like a pattern, is a set of programs that runs the computer. So what exactly do we mean by programs? What exactly are we referring to as programs? Now, comp programs, computer programs. Now, computer programs is a series. Computer program is a series of coded instruction. A series of coded instructions why do we have series of instructions coded you ask yourself that question now this is of instruction is coded in order to show logical steps by which logical steps now coded to show logical logical what steps the computer follows steps come follows logical steps come follows to solve it's all about solving a problem to solve A given yes series of coded instructions to show logical step computer follow the computer follows to solve a given problem that is what computer program um, that is what a computer program is. Okay, now classification of now let's go back to software. Classification of computer software. Now the computer software could be divided into two major groups, namely system software and application software. Okay, now, application software is the computer software, okay, now let's, let's, let's be on the same page, now, about system software, system software is referred to the suites of programs that facilitate optimal use of hardware system, facilitates. programs that facilitates programs that facilitate the optimal optimal use of optimal use of the hardware system optimal use of the hardware system to provide suitable environment for things like writing editing debugging testing and running user programs basically the functionality of computer suitable environment hardware system to provide suitable 
environment for functions like editing, typing, debugging. Now, when we say debugging, is one is the process of trying to solve a technical problem. We debug, you know, we debug the issue so that you can get to the root of the problem and get it solved. The bug is a problem in generally. It's a, it's a problem, a, pro, a, a peculiar problem associated with tech. When you say debugging, you're trying to solve a problem. It's an error, because an error can find a problem. So it's that for that. So it's function for typing, editing, debugging, test running, and so on and so forth. Okay. We have that as that. So we have operating system. Now, operating system is a program that acts as an interface between users of computer and the computer hardware. Operating system. Operating system is said to be a program that acts as an interface between users of computer and users of computer and the computer hardware and the purpose of an operating system is to provide an environment in which user may execute program that is that for operating system now and also operating system are written now programs in the op programs in the operating system are written for direct execution on computer hardware direct execution on computer hardware in order to make the computer fully efficient now we have the primary goal of operating system is convenience for users come back to this convenience for users that is the primary goal of the operating system okay now the operating system is classified into three groups three groups we have one two three one, two, now we have the batch processing batch processing operating system operating here batch processing according to the name batch it's an environment where users submit jobs to a central place batch that's not for your operating system is all about convenience for who users so when they say now batch process of operating system we're talking about a process whereby users submit users submit um, jobs to a central place where the jobs are collected into a batch and subsequently placed into queue at the computer where they will be run Okay, so we have that one. That according to his name, batch process. So we have the time sharing, the time sharing, time, time sharing operating system. Now, another mode for delivering computing service is by providing sharing operation system. Now let's pay attention to this please in this environment a computer provides computing service to several now according to the name here it says time sharing not time literally but an environment whereby computer 
provides computing service to several or many users concurrently. Concurrent, concurrent usage. Time sharing. Concurrent usage. Online, yeah. Provide time sharing services concurrently to users online. And we have the real time operating system. We have the real time. The real time. Now, this is the third class of operating system. Now, the real time system is or are designed to service those applications where response time of the essence in order to prevent error. Now, this is more like a proactive operating system. Here, services on applications whereby the response time of essence in order to prevent now real-time operating system are those which undo airline reservation machine tool control now monitoring of nuclear power station now i believe we are together applications you know there are some applications that they are very technical this real-time they are designed to service these applications applications where response time is of the essence applications where response time is of the essence this real-time operating system is what undoes them and we say examples are you can imagine nuclear power station nuclear power station this operate the operating system they use there is this one they refer to as a real time machine control machine to control and um, airline reservations so we have all that as that so um we have um all that as that now let's proceed okay now we have i think that is where we call it a day for today and um in our next class we will proceed and i'm hoping that in our next class we'll be able to cover a lot of ground and um we will eventually end um the course just 103 unfailingly thank you very much everyone let's do all to submit our notes in our respective classes and um, I look forward to seeing us in subsequent tutorials. Bye-bye.